Hi everyone and uh, welcome again. Today I'm going to talk about uh, multi-threading. Uh, we use uh, additional threads when we want to avoid our application to be frozen while doing some heavy work. Uh, for example, uh, or simply when we want to uh, speed up our work. For example, we have a, a form here that has a button a sort. What it will do, it will uh, randomize some uh, data field uh, that has 50,000 numbers and uh, the maximum number is 1,000. So it will uh, sort those numbers by using uh, bubble sort. So uh, let's uh, run this. Now I've clicked this button but I'm trying to move this window and uh, nothing works. Uh, uh, this application is actually frozen and only thing I can do now is uh, to wait while uh, it's done sorting and now it is. So as you can see it really takes some time and I cannot do pretty much in anything but uh, to wait uh, to this operation to be completed. So. I want to avoid that. I want uh, to be able to use my main thread or my main window while the sorting is uh, done in the back uh, in the background. So I'm going to create an additional thread. Uh, the best way to use threads is uh, by using this thread object. There are also some uh, other variations by using indie components and such, but uh, I would recommend using this thread object. So I create a new one and uh, now I need to specify a class name. For example, the sort thread. Named thread, we use that for debugging purposes, but right now we don't need that. So uh, after I clicked OK, uh, this unit 2 uh, is generated and it has uh, our class and uh, it is inherited from uh, t thread. So our class has two methods. Uh, this is the execute method. Execute method uh, represents uh, the thread. So what do you want to do inside your thread? Uh, you simply place in this execute method. And uh, you have this uh, sort thread method. Uh, this is nothing but uh, but a constructor, constructor and it uh, says do you want uh, when you create your thread do you want to create it as suspended or do you want to run your thread immediately after it's created okay so and uh, this is our cpp code so thread code must be inside this execute method and uh, now what i want is to simply copy this here to here okay also, uh, this data field is inside my uh, T-Form 1, it is here, so I need to include this header if I want my thread to uh, be aware of my, of my data field. Also, we need to specify where it is inside T-Form 1. Okay, so on my form one there is a data field and that is the one. It has 50,000 elements. And now I'm using bubble sort to sort it out. Uh, also, uh, you have uh, here uh, button one caption done. So uh, I need to uh, signalize uh, when my uh, sorting is complete. I, I want to change my button caption to done. Uh, I can do it uh, in, from inside the thread, but I need to create, uh, but I need to call my synchronize method. Synchronize. Uh, it is not uh, safe uh, to update uh, Windows GUI applications from inside the thread itself. Uh, because uh, GUI applications uh, and VCL uh, in general is not thread safe. And therefore, you need to uh, update from inside uh, uh, from inside uh, some method uh, by using uh, synchronize. Uh, synchronize will uh, signal a main thread that uh, something needs to be updated in uh, your GUI, and it will do it uh, by itself, not from inside the thread. But those are some uh, deeper <laughs> technical issues I don't want to discuss right now. 
uh, when I call synchronize, I need to specify what method is going to be used to update GUI. And I'm going to use this method here that is already pre been prepared and uh, it's called update caption. So I'll add its uh, prototype here. Okay, and now uh, I need to specify what caption do I want to change. Caption of my button one. Okay, and now what is the name of that method, update caption, and I'm going to do it here. So uh, when I want to update my GUI inside my main form, I will simply call this method synchronize and I'm going to say synchronize this method update caption and update caption will update the GUI meaning the caption of my button. So let's see and also one thing here uh, now I need to uh, create a thread that will actually uh, do a sort uh, in order to use my thread class, I need to include its header and uh, it is unit 2.h. This is why we need it, because this sort thread. And now I can create its object. The sort thread. My thread. Now, do I want to create it suspended or uh, do I want uh, my thread to be suspended but run it afterwards? I will simply, uh, I will simply run it immediately, meaning this will be false. This means uh, right after uh, this, uh, my thread is going to be uh, created, it will run immediately this execute method, meaning this uh, bubble sort. And uh, usually I would need to now specify delete my thread, but I can also say here free on terminate. This means uh, that uh, immediately after this execute method is uh, completed, uh, the thread will destroy itself. I don't need to specify delete uh, my thread here. So let's see. This is not going to be necessary now because our caption is going to be updated from inside this update caption, which is going to be synchronized. Sort, and now as you can see, uh, it is sorting in the background. I can move my window, I can do whatever I want because my application is not locked. Now I simply, like I said, one, uh, can do anything I want and uh, now it's finally sorted out in the background and that is how we use threads. So uh, the important thing is uh, to remember when you, we use uh, tthread, you have this execute method and uh, each body contains uh, the code that we want to uh, run in our uh, thread. And uh, this constructor uh, will determine do I want to create my thread as suspended or do I want to run it immediately upon uh, create, uh, creation. So uh, this is all that was necessary to create and run a thread. I could, I could also say here uh, that my thread is suspended but to say my thread uh, I suspended it for some reason, for example, to uh, specify priority and to say its priority is uh, higher. And uh, after I specified that, I can say then start uh, doing it, start executing it. And as you can see, the important thing is that we uh, freed, up, uh, freed up our main thread and it is not locked and now we can uh, use it at will. 
And like I said, don't uh, forget uh, when you are updating a uh, GUI user interface from inside the thread, you cannot you cannot simply just uh, say here um, form one button one caption equals something. You need to update it using synchronize, meaning all uh, GUI updates should be inside some uh, method, for example, update caption. And this method should update uh, the GUI and uh, it should be called by using synchronize. Okay, uh, I believe uh, that this is enough uh, for today to simply uh, for you to simply realize uh, what threads are and what why are they used uh, it is like i said to uh, do some heavy work to uh, to net to not let our application to be frozen and uh, simply to speed up things right uh, also we can use uh, for example critical sections and the semaphores but uh, i will uh, cover it in um, in some other video because uh, I don't have it uh, and I have the time right now so uh, it will have to wait well that's all for now if you have any questions regarding threads uh, please be free to ask thank you for watching and see you next time